going on everybody it's your boy the slab train and welcome back guys to some more drive club today now i'm pretty excited because we just got the brand new downforce dlc pack finally downloaded installed and ready to drive now this pack is probably one of my favorite packs that they have dropped since this game has come out now the reason for that one of which is you guys are looking at a monstrous v8 twin turbocharged conan seg ajera one now this car is special man now this actually is running 1300 horsepower 1300 now if you guys want to be exact 1341 horsepower man that is absolutely insane right now we're going to be driving this today we are going to be driving this i'm excited now among the other vehicles as well too we also got in a beautiful srt viper gts you guys all know i love my vipers i cannot wait to listen to that v10 just absolutely rip up the hills now other than that we got a chevrolet corvette z06 centennial edition which is very familiar to the ZL1 that we got if I'm not mistaken or the ZR1 sorry back last DLC so we have another Corvette that looks almost identical to the look um, we also have the Ferrari F50 which is an iconic Ferrari I'm very excited to track that see how it th actually throws down on the track and as well to a lot of people's favorites including my own the Jaguar F-Type R Coupe or Coupe however you guys want to pronounce it but enough of the talking man let's go in and drive some of these bad boys right now so we're going to start off with the absolutely nasty conan sag ajero one and just look at this car in all its glory man beautiful orange accents rims are probably just weighing about probably a pound each i mean these rims are probably actually super damn light on this thing and this is all backed by a monstrous v8 man and that's what i've always loved about the ajeras or anything the conan sags right now is those monstrous v8s man producing so much horsepower and this one as i said is a twin turbocharged model so i'm pretty damn excited to get this thing on the track it looks like you know the aerodynamics of this thing are going to be huge so i'm hoping that we're going to have enough downforce hence the downforce dlc ladies and gentlemen let's go and put this thing on the track man now taking a look at the stats of this car um one thing that I don't like about Drive Club is that they don't show you any of the actual number ratings. You know, I feel like for a game of its caliber, there should be a number rating. I feel like they're just kind of getting off a little bit easy, you know, not showcasing the horsepower, the torque or anything like that, just almost as a slider. So I do hope that they maybe do an update to produce some actual numbers for us to look at and compare to. Because I mean, let's be honest, these sliders don't mean a damn thing. I mean, yes, it means that the car is quick, but I mean, how quick is it? You know, looking at these sliders, you would have never guessed that this thing has 1300 horsepower. I mean, you really wouldn't. So I'm expecting this thing to really throw down today. We're going to be using the iconic factory Conan Seg paint job, man. I mean, we ain't going to go anything astray from that. We also are going to be using um, the Japan tracks that we have received a little bit while ago. Now, we didn't get any new tracks from at least from what I'm seeing, uh, just the tracks that we already had. All right, guys, we are ready to throw down some times with this monster. I have no idea what to expect, to be honest with you. But obviously, this car was made for the track. I mean, when I was reading up on this vehicle, um, you know, they really put a more of an emphasis on a track car rather than, you know, the speed car, which the previous Conan Segs made. And I think this thing is absolutely crazy, man. This V8 is screaming in my damn headset right now. Oh, my God. God, ladies and gentlemen, have a listen. Oh, shit! My bad! Oh, man, this thing is scary to drive. I'm not even going to kid you right now. A lot of throttle control is needed for this thing. And this is actually a fairly new production vehicle. I mean, this thing debuted back in March 2014. Um, so it's very nice to see this thing already in the game. I mean, and I got to say, you know, my first thoughts of this car, um, I personally love this car. Now, I am going to try and get this thing sideways in a little bit here. I just would like to, you know, just kind of feel it out, see what we're working with. But 
jeez, man. This thing has got the power, it's got the torque, and it's got the downforce, man. It really does. Let's throw it out a little bit. Oh, my kid! Oh, Jesus. I could not see a damn thing right there. Ooh, gotta say, though, man, this thing is agile. Did not expect it to be this agile. I really didn't. And, I mean, the force is on this wheel, man. Drive Club's force feedback is just bar none. I mean, I love it. I really do. It may not be, you know, as sim as we're used to with, you know, the forces and the set of courses and everything like that, but... It really does have a very satisfying feel to it, and a very challenging feel as well, too. I mean, coming on this game, um, I was not ready for what I was about to encounter with this Injera 1, man. Oh, my God. If I let go of this wheel at any point in time... No! Shit! All right. The car's a little bit damaged. Hopefully, they understand. You know, I'm a new driver today, man. It's my first time driving this bad boy. So hopefully they understand and they don't damn well kill me when I bring it back to the shop right now. I'd like to give one drifting test on this car, see how it holds down, down the mountain, and then we'll move on to the Viper because that is one of my favorites in the pack, man. You guys all know I've been a Viper fan for years, man. I love my Vipers, um, so I'm pretty excited. I am not going to lie to you now. I'm thinking that this one is definitely not the best one for it. Look at all the damn tight corners. I'm going to look for something that has more of, yeah, speed run kind of thing because this thing has got the speed, man. It's got the need for speed, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. I can't wait for a new Need for Speed, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely can't wait. I'm thinking about maybe doing another Need for Speed Underground 2 series, but remastered. I actually have an HD version on my PC, which I may want to play again. So if you guys want to see an HD remastered version of Need for Speed Underground 2 played, let me know in the comment section down below, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, man. Someone's having a barbecue over there. Look at that shit. What's good, man? Can I join up when I come back? Appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? All right, now we are in, I believe, third gear. I'm going to just try to throw this thing down. Oh, shit. Yeah, this thing is a handful on this track, man. Force feedback settings on this car are only at 70 to actually 70% right now. So... It really does want to just hook right back up on it. Uh, so we're really going to have to try and just throttle this thing through here because that's really the only way that this thing wants to get loose. All right, so I'm not even going to bother doing another run on that. Uh, the car is not made to slide. It really isn't. I just wanted to see how it was going to actually throw down on the track. Obviously, it just wants to hook back up. I mean, that's why it's made, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to move on to the next vehicle of today. We're going to do another time trial here. We're going to move it over to Norway. I'm just kidding, man. We got some new tracks on Japan. Might as well use them for a little bit longer. Um, let's go to... I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot pronounce words. I pronounce them, and it just goes to shit, man. I, I, I don't want to hear it in the comments today. But we are going to my prestigious SRT Viper GTS, man. Oh my god, look at it, man. I was so pumped to see this in the game. I really was. I mean, as I said, I've been a Viper fan for so long. You know, this is the fifth generation Viper, so it's come a long way, man. All the way back to the days of, you know, the very first Viper. Still rocking that V10, man. Still rocking it, but I've been a fan of Vipers for a long time. And I think Drive Club has done this car justice. It looks absolutely beautiful. Um, oh my god, man, it's so nice, man, look at it, 640 horsepower on this model, um, this V10 should be screaming down the hills today, we're gonna use that beautiful yellow paint job, man, I don't know the exact name of it, but it does look badass, though, it really does, man, look at it, Jesus, god, man, I love it, man, absolutely love it, you guys are not watching in 1080p right now, shake your damn heads, man. What are you doing with your life, ladies and gentlemen? Hit that 1080p, Joan. You know what I'm saying? Hit it, man. Let's go. I feel like Dom right now in Triple X. Hit it! <laughs> oh, my God. All right, let's go. Let's see what other camera views we got. We didn't even look at the other camera views in that Ajera 1 right now. We're going to have to definitely look at that. Oh, shit. Look at this thing, man. Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, look at that guy, man. I followed his line above me in that damn... Oh, my God. Tell me you guys just seen that man eat the wall on that, because I did. I was supposed to be following him? Jesus. 
more like crashing with them. Oh my god, man. Look at that iconic Viper rooftop, man. Oh my god. If you guys don't know, that is shaped as a Viper's head on the very top of that car, man. Love it. Now, I've been told, I haven't actually got to sit in one, sadly enough, but I've been told, though, that when you are sitting in there, it's a very dominant feeling because uh, it is so tight, and we're just going to go ahead and trash our Viper, man. I almost cried right there. All right, let's see how it throws down in this view. I actually prefer this view a lot more. I know you guys probably don't. Um, it does sound like I'm on a damn airplane. It's so quiet on this, so I do hope that maybe they turn up the audio just a little bit. Oh, okay. She's holding, though. Gearbox seems to be very nice. Fast clutching on here. Ooh, getting a little bit sideways, man. This thing is a handful, though, man. Here we go. We're going to try and catch our way up the pack right here through the ghosts. Ooh, nice and smooth coming through. We got a little bit of wheel spin. That's okay, though. Shit. Oh, man. The Viper dealership's not going to be happy. Banged up two expensive ass cars. Not gonna be a good day. We're gonna try and slide this. Oh, okay, we got it a little bit. I mean, first gear is very damn tall, which is why I brought it all the way back down to first, and it worked. It's not bad at all. They got the dash right on this game with the Viper on the middle speedometer. If you guys have a look, it illuminates as soon as I'm ready to shift. And that is absolutely dirty, man. I'm glad that they added that in. I mean, that was a must for any Viper fan. I mean, Jesus, man. You got to be able to see that Viper illuminate. I'd spend the damn 120K just to see that shit, man. Oh, the gains, man. The gains right now in this car are marvelous. We are fighting a ghost ahead of us, man. I don't even know who that is. It's a little bit scary, to be honest with you. I thought I turned ghosts off. I'm just kidding, they're on, but damn. Come through the forest. I feel like need for speed right now. Is cop car gonna just pop out of nowhere? Oh, we're right behind the ghost now. Let's go, baby. I got you. You going, playboy? Oh shit! We caught it though, we caught it. We are right behind this man right now. Let's go, baby Jesus! back to this view right here. I am a fan of this view. I don't know how we are catching up to this man right now. We have to break hard. Oh, yes! Woo! This thing is nice. We're gonna leave our go- Oh, wait, what? I thought our ghost was behind us. This man is ahead of us? Oh my god, dude. That guy is good. And this is a hell of a long track though, man. 71% only. Why did I break so hard? I watched the ghost break up ahead. I trusted him, man. I trusted him. Car's very subtle. I mean, as soon as it gets kind of loose, it's not kind of twitchy. You know, it likes to come back, but it likes to hold angle at the same time, which is really cool. Ooh, I think we have massive 305s on the rear of this. And again, I mean, I just like to see Drive Club do a little bit more detail with their information. I mean, yes, the game is beautiful, but immerse us a little bit more in the content. You know, show us how much horsepower we're running. Show us how much torque. You know, show us the details of the tires. You know, stuff like that to really bring us into these cars and live them. You know what I'm saying? Woo! This thing was nice, though, man. Viper GTS putting down a 405 on the track. Um, I don't even know if that... Or, sorry, that was a 423 target, but we did finish way above target, which is good. What's our leaderboard time on that? Probably not too damn well. A 3,000. Oh, my God. I ain't even going to continue that, man. Oh, my God. So, moving on to the next car in the pack. We're going to be taking a look at the Ferrari F50. Now, this thing. Ooh, man. This thing looks badass. Now, I'm feeling pretty warmed up right now. So, we're going to go ahead and do an actual race with this car here. I'm feeling Kabogo right now. And I think this should be a lot of damn fun. So where's our F50? There she is, man. Oh my god, man. Look at this beauty right now, man. V12. So this F50 is producing 520 horsepower. Naturally aspirated V12. 4.7 liter, if I'm not mistaken. And this thing, hopefully, is about to throw down, man. I'm excited right now. Getting to drive an F50 here on Drive Club. I never thought... I would see the day, but the day has come, man. Oh 
my god. Now, if you guys have not already, pick up the Drive Club Season Pass, man. It's not that expensive, and honestly, you get so much content for what it's worth. And this game, man, look at these. Oh my god, these environments, man. These environments give me goosebumps. I'm not even kidding with you, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, though. Holy shit. This is some racing for your ass right now. We are side by side with the Viper. Try not to bang it up too much, man. We got a rare ass F50 on our hands right now. Oh shit, I'm so sorry up there. Try and slowly make our way up the pack. Brakes on this thing are nice. You just gotta keep it nice and sturdy though. on the eye side not gonna happen oh shit now all this game needs is the Nuremberg ring man if we had the Nuremberg ring on this oh my god you know what I'm saying that would just be devastating right now how do I look okay yeah, no, no. try to take this man on the inside this R8 just shutting the door on us try and get through somehow very tight corner Ooh, yeah. So that 50 mid-engine just helping us out on these corners a lot, man. I felt like we were going to oversteer that, and then I was like, damn, I'm driving in that 50, man. No problems. Come on. Let me get by, man. Come on, McLaren. Sup, bitch. Ooh. I think that's a 650S, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think there's any other McLarens in this. Thing is nasty. Try and take him. Oh, we got by him, man. We got by him. We're getting the door shut on us, though. Appreciate it, man. Oh my god. Not good. Thank god. Dropped a gear, but it was not the proper time to drop a gear on that. Gotta say, the handling on this car feels identical to Forza, man. This thing feels very nice on the track, man. I cannot wait to use this thing online, because this thing will be a killer, man. Oh, my God. The balance of this vehicle is just... Jesus, man. Ferrari did this car right. I'll tell you that right now. And that's why this thing is so damn iconic. Try and get him on the high side right here. Oh, shit! No! Oh, my God, dude! We lost it, man! Oh, shit! The Viper just... Okay. That was kind of greasy, though, don't you think? God damn, man. Now, look at how big this rear end is, man. Oh, my God. Now, I don't know if it's just the camera angles, but I feel like they should adjust these camera angles just a little bit, man. Just a little bit. Oh, man, I forgot which damn paddle shifter it was to upshift or downshift. Some bitch, man. We need a damn gear shift on this. And they still haven't, you know, allowed us the ability to use one, which is very disappointing. But, um, you know, it is what it is, I guess, on the drive club. So that was the Ferrari F50. We are pretty much done this race, man. We got taken out, unfortunately. Just, you know, trying to push the limits a little bit too much. So we're going to get to our third car sorry our fourth car of the pack man we already looked at the ajera one the viper and the f50 and now up next is going to be the jaguar f type now i'm not even going to bother today looking at the corvette um you know i feel like we've already seen it there hasn't been too much of a change in it so i'm not going to really waste my time with it today showing you guys the same thing that we really just drove um, now, if you guys want to leave me the differences of the Z06 and the other Corvette that we received, which is the ZR1, obviously the one is more faster. Um, they're both Centennial Editions, so there's not, you know, there's not too much. They look identical to the eye. So if you guys want to leave me your thoughts in the comments section down below, I almost picked up the Vantage by accident. We need the F-Type, man. Where is this badass car right here? The Jaguar F-Type R Coupe, man. Look at it in all of its glory oh my god now this has got to be the five liter v8 on this thing i don't think they would slack and put the three liter in this um i'm excited to drive this thing as i well hope you guys are excited to watch this thing 
Look at this, man. The detail. The detail, man. I cannot stress that enough. This game rivals Forza. Hands down, it rivals Forza. Obviously, the physics, the customization, the painting, you know, it's not on par, but they got the damn graphics down, hands down. Here we go. We're starting from a roll, looks like. I'm down. We are on an actual track for this run, which is going to be very interesting. Listen to that VA just scream. Here we go, baby. Look at all the F-types on the track right now. Let's go, man. This is dope. Oh, shit. Try and catch up. We took that very damn sloppy on that corner. First time driving this track, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I did once or twice, but this is definitely new to me, though. Woo! Holding it. Oh my god, the wheel looks damn wobbly as shit though. Look at it. Now, I cannot see my gauges, which is a little bit of an issue. I mean, I can see them, but they're not illuminated as well as I would like them to be. Um, so we're going to have to... Oh shit, I don't know if there's a setting to take them actually and put them physically on the screen like Forza has them. Oh my god. He beat me, man. That's some bullshit right now. Very sloppy line. We're not going to hit the grass, though, which is good. Come on, baby! Finish with a 131. We're going to try to go ahead and beat that time right now. Now that we at least know what the hell we're doing. Or try to, at least, right? Jeez, man. Nothing ever goes as planned here on Drive Club. But hopefully... We can make this go as planned. We'll lift off the gas just a little bit. Throwing this thing down right now on the sections. Oh my god. Again, kind of sloppy on that entrance. That is a tough corner to hit, man. That really is. It's a very awkward bend coming in. So you got to kind of take the second bend as your clipping point. Oh man, we're doing well right now. This V8 is just getting pushed to its limits right now, man. We are beating this F-type in front of us, man. Even though it's a ghost, it probably will never lose. But we're doing it. He's getting a little bit sideways. We're coming through. Excuse me, man. I'm just going to go right through you, though. Appreciate it. Hopefully you don't mind. Oh, we beat the ghost. Let's go, baby. What's our time going to be? A 120. 120. 130. Oh, okay. Okay, man. This thing was definitely probably one of the funnest cars today next to the Ajera. Um, then follow that would have to be the Viper and then the F50. This is a very tough car pack to judge, man. I mean, I got to give it to all the cars today that we drove. Um, I really enjoyed every single one of them. Uh, there wasn't, you know, one that really kind of stuck out to me because all of these cars are great. Now, obviously, if I had to choose one, the Conan Sega Jera would definitely win my vote just strictly because 1,300 horsepower on Drive Club. I am all game for that, ladies and gentlemen. All day, every day, no problem, man. Straighten up, big bitch. Jesus. Other than that, though, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode on Drive Club. And if you guys want to see more, don't forget to slap that damn like button. Show your support in the comment section below. And as always, guys, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box down below. Ladies and gentlemen, Drive Club Downforce DLC. You guys can pick it up right now, man. It's available. It's your motor slap train. I'm out. Peace.